will impel you to spread the virtue of mutual respect and brotherhood in our society. Through your participation in the Skites and Guides movement, you will also realize your own intellectual, physical, and spiritual potential. Ladies and gentlemen, we are today only too aware of the social conflicts that can threaten our rapidly transforming society. Our nation is presently transiting through an unprecedented demographic change. In 2020, the average Indian will be of 29 years old. This should indicate how important it is for us to focus today on our youth. While we speak of inclusive growth, it is the leaders of the grassroots level who will be the agents of changes. I'm confident that the Scouts and Guides movement can effectively provide this leadership where it is needed at the bottom of the pyramid. I am aware that one of your campaign is Khari Kamai, in which you undertake work for remuneration that is then used by your respective units. This simple campaign teaches you dignity of labor, an important value that Gandhiji strongly upheld, including this at a young age, will enthuse you with self-confidence, self-reliance, and sense of duty. As Indians, we have inherited a legacy of profound reverence towards nature. Community activities to protect, conserve, and preserve our abundant natural resources and our environment are, in my estimation, is a national duty. Creating greater awareness of this duty and the manner in which each and every member of our society can fulfill this important obligation is an area where your cadets can make a big difference. I would emphasize that in our quest for higher standards of living, we must equally seek to create higher standards of social order. We must be increasingly mindful of the sensitivities of those around us and how they may be affected by our words and deeds. While we endeavor to eliminate the problems that distort our social development, and as we address imbalances, we must collectively identify the values that have over the centuries served to safeguard the pluralistic and secular fabric of our society. We must reinforce these ethics so that as we go forth into the globalized world, we as Indians remain faithful to these unique traditions. Similarly, we must strive to continuously generate greater tolerance and understanding among all sections of our democratic society. Your initiatives can help in the building of national pride among young people and teach them to recognize and reject any narrow and divisive agendas. The Scouts and Guides Law of 
pure in thought, word, and deed is an excellent principle indeed. In this context, especially the scouts, guides, rovers, and rangers are fortunate that they have the guidance of adult leaders. I would also like to take this opportunity to convey my deep appreciation to the scouts and guides for your untiring efforts in rescue and rehabilitation operations, including just a few months ago during the devastating floods in Uttarakhand. You have been at the forefront in extremely challenging situations. Your support to the railways and civil administration during the Kumbh Mela, your programs of rebuilding schools, polio immunization, and anti-tobacco campaign, education expansions, and community workshops are only a few of numerous projects that you have so successfully carried out. I thank each and every member of the Bharat Scouts and Guides Movement for your selfless service to the nation. I'm sure that with every initiative that you take up, you inspire many also to come forward and make a contribution with similar dedication and sincerity. With these words, I once again congratulate the award winners, including the other leaders of the Bharat Scouts and Guides Organization for their meritorious and outstanding services. I offer the Bharat Scouts and Guides my felicitations and extend to you my good wishes for the continued success of your endeavors. May you grow from strength to strength. Thank you. Jai Hind. <clears throat> Honorable President of India, Shri Pranav Mukherjee. Honorable President, Bharat Scouts and Guides, Shri Rameshwar Thakurji, National Commissioner, Shri Alam Jain. Madam Jain, Veterans of Scouts and Guides Movement, Scouters, Guiders, and My Dear Scouts and Guides. Sir, the Scout Guide Movement was founded by Lord Baden Powell in the year 1907, and in the year 1910, the girls joined this movement. Since its origin, the Scout Guide Movement is working for the welfare of boys and girls and to serve the international community by following objectives framed by world organizations of Scout Movement world associations of Girl Scouts and Guides, and national organizations. Bharat Scouts and Guides recognizes boys and girls every year who do a remarkable job as Scouts and Guides. They are presented prestigious Rashtrapati Award by Honorable President of India. This award is presented to the boys and girls who are adjudged best during the year. This award was constituted in the year 1961. Since then, the President of India, along with Rashtrapati Awards, presents other awards like Silver Star, Bar to Silver Star, and Silver Elephant to the veterans and the well-wishers of the movement. On this auspicious occasion, I, on behalf of Honorable President, National Commissioner, my colleague Chief Commissioner Scouts, and other members of Bharat Scouts and Guides, convey my sincere gratitude and thanks to the Honorable President of India for giving motivation and guidance to the Scouts and Guides to work with more zeal and enthusiasm for achieving aims and objectives of this esteemed organization. At the end, once again, I would like to specially thank each and every one who is present on this occasion of Rashtrapati Award Ceremony and all the members of Rashtrapati Bhavan who have given their full cooperation in arranging this ceremony. Let's take a pledge on this day 
to deroot the devils of terrorism, dowry, and corruption. Let's join hands together for world peace, harmony, and mutual understanding. Thank you very much.